the haunted folklore of North Carolina. The Devil's Tramping Ground in a wooded area in western Chatham County, 10 miles east of Silas City, is a well-worn path that forms a ring some 40 feet in diameter. The path itself is a foot wide. The center of the circle and the ground outside the path are lush with grass and other plant life, but nothing grows in the foot wide track. At sunset, when rocks or similar heavy objects are placed in the pathway, they are found the next morning to have been brushed aside. In fall and winter, when rabbit hunters roam the surrounding countryside, their dogs perform joyously until the chase nears the burning circle. Then the dogs tuck their tails between their legs and slink away. They will not go near the spot. Soon after the first settlers came to Chatham County, they discovered the strange site, which soon became known as the Devil's Tramping Ground. This was before 1800. Though no one ever saw him sulking there, it was believed to be the haunt of the foul fiend who came at night to tramp around and around and around in a circle, his head lowered, his expression intense. It was during these hours that Satan planned his evil schemes to undo mankind. At first light of morning, he was gone, ringing his way like a bat across the world to carry out his nefarious purposes. Yet so scorching has been his footprints on the ground of this circular pathway that the soil became infertile and the nocturnal retreat the hellish prince of darkness was shunned and avoided. This story has been told since colonial times in America. And some sources even say that the native tribes told stories of the devil's tramping grounds. However, now that science and technology has improved, we have tried to learn more about this mysterious place. Soil scientists have tested the soil, but unfortunately they have been unable to find any evidence to explain why the place is barren. And if you go there today and you see it for yourself, you will see a charred blackened circle filled with remains of litter and other burnt material. And you may try to assure yourself, surely nothing will grow in this place now because of this charred material. But keep in mind, people have been telling this story for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years. 